What's going on guys, it's your boy Worthy Prince coming at ya with another Lords mobile video and today we've got some KVK action from the Baby Guild everybody. It's Baby Inc kicking some butt in this previous KVK and we're going to start off with Ace. She's just finished building her Baby C16 trap. She's gone and captured a bunch of these guys leaders and they went ahead and sent a rally. Check that out. Oh, it's hit, it's smoked and it's out of there <laughs> so she's got it really good stuff and only one thing to do at this point is chuck up that cat emoji really really good really good stuff you know so many people in baby ink done a fantastic job this kvk i mean look at that 188,000 red deads only 10,000 wounded on her side really really nice now that's what i'm talking about um and i think she's got like four of their leaders now which is really good I mean, taking that much T3, even though it's leaderless, is actually pretty good for a C16 baby trap. So, really nice stuff, Ace. Awesome, awesome job. Um, and like I said, she's got like four of their leaders right now, so... <laughs> she's certainly going to town on that guild. Now, someone else in Baby Inc. that done an amazing job was Cat. Honestly, Cat, hats off to you. 51 million points with 18 hours left to go. Wow, really, really good stuff. And I'm going to showcase some of Kat's amazing, amazing trapping right now, guys. Check this out. Get them milk and cookies ready, guys. You is going to need them. And a big jug of milk for this one. Oh, my God. I'll tell you something. I watched this back, and I was just blown away. Because I was in POA doing a lot of the KVK at this point. So, and by the way, the POA KVK video is going to be awesome. It's coming soon. But check out Cat right here. So she takes the first hit. Mm, mm, mm. Thank you. <laughs> Got his leader on the first one, which is awesome. And we're going to actually stick with Cat here right now and see how this plays out. Because this guy is about 230 million might. You know, he's a T4 player. He's coming in again with a leaderless march. I mean, we all know how this second hit turns out, guys. Once the leader gets captured, he's coming in with a third march. <laughs> it's absolutely nuts. Like, what is he doing? Okay, and he's speeding up. Like, what's happening here, guys, is some... It's an emotion. It's called anger. Anger is happening right here. This guy is most likely playing this game and is absolutely furious that he's a T4 player with 200 odd million might. How can this 29 million might castle get the better of him? There's another enemy army invading and it's speeding up. Oh my God. So he's just hit again. He's just lost all those troops. There's another one coming behind that. This guy has lost it. He's lost it. He's going all in. He's going to zero himself. <laughs> and these are actually real hits. They really are. You can see it in the chat. Someone's asking, is this real? Or is he one trooping? No. No, no, no. These are real. His might is dropping. He started at around 230 million might. He's not going to end at 230 million might. <laughs> now, granted, some of these marches at the end here are weaker. Maybe because he's put lower tier troops in. I honestly don't know. I personally think he just literally had all intention of zero in himself. Wow, absolutely insane stuff. Um, you can see she's writing in the chat, God, I hope. <laughs> so, are you good? He's pointing after her. He's coming. He's back again. He's down to, I can't see what he's down to. It isn't loading, but he's marching again. She's randoming out of there. <laughs> she's got another one of his marches. What are you doing, son? Wake up. <laughs> He seems to want his leader back, you know, and he's going to basically go all out to try and get it. Now, this next bit coming up, I wanted to use a nice fancy transition, but we're going to have to do a sharp cut because that's where the recording started. Look, oh, you am back again. <laughs> Here he comes. Okay, so he's back again. He's sending those marches in. Oh, my days. What are you doing, bro? Um, it's just... Uh, it blows my mind. He actually, he actually had 30,000 wounded that time, so I'm guessing he's sending his T4 now. He must be out of T2 and T3. The T4s are coming in, and he's getting absolutely demolished. Like I said, he was about 230 million. My, I don't have the battle reports to hand right now, but oh my god, guys. It's just absolutely insane. You can see a couple of more Baby Ink players have just pulled it in. They're sending him reinforcements, or her reinforcements. Look at all those successful hits. 
I really want to click on them and see all the bites, but I can't. But it is what it is. And it's just, oh my god, this guy. Okay, so clearly he's learned his lesson. He must have learned his lesson. He's hit it like six times. The mite hasn't gone down. They, they're filling her up with resources. He must realize now at this point, Trickster, which was his leader, tut tut tut, is gone. And he hit her in research gear as well. He's attacking again! <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> He's coming in again. What's he sending? Oh my god, it's T4. Oh no. He's sending T4s, guys. Oh my god, it's 58,000 wounded. No, 38,000, should I say. 20 was from the previous one. Or maybe it was 58, I don't know. But it hasn't filled the infirms. Mate, she is a boss. She is trapping this T4 guy with 93,000 beds. It's just insane. <laughs> I just laugh every time I watch this clip. Like I must, like I said, I wasn't watching this live. I was, I was in POA, so I didn't know none of this stuff was going on at this stage. And then when Cat sent the clip to me, and I started watching this earlier before I started editing it for the video, I was just laughing. <laughs> it's just so funny. It's mental. Uh, so she's asking what to do. Obviously, she's new to trapping, so she don't know. She's probably a bit nervous. He's coming in again. <laughs> What is, what is he doing? Oh no! I don't know what he's sending, but I just can't help this. This is just... Oh, oh kind of, it's like a trap's worst dream, isn't it? A trap's dream to find a player that can absolutely lose their rag. <laughs> just keep sending marches. I think he's practically almost zeroed himself now. He's in a bit of a mess. He's in a bit of a state. Bro, bro, what is your might? 176! <laughs> He's lost nearly 50 million might, which is insane. And now you know why Cat got a really high score in KVK because this dude would not leave her alone and he just kept coming back for more and more and more. It was just absolutely nuts. I think in total, he must have had somewhere around about one and a half million uh, red deads and then a whole bunch of wounded on top, of course. But he did have a lot of losses. And he's coming in again. <laughs> no! What are you doing? <laughs> he's speeding up. <laughs> oh, I'm jealous. I want to meet this guy. Please come and find me in Lord's Mobile. My baby trap's waiting. This is brilliant. What a way to start your KVK to get this. Oh, it's awesome. I bet he is absolutely going mental in front of his phone right now. I wouldn't be surprised if this guy needs to buy a new phone at the end of KVK. He probably smashed it. <laughs> but there you go. That was Kat's awesome uh, encounter with this dude right here. You know, this, what she writes now, I think makes me laugh. Lol, shaking like a leaf. <laughs> she was so nervous. It's so funny, guys. It's funny reading and watching this back. But she, then he finally gets the message. He finally understands, no, and moves away. But there we go. That wasn't the only trap that Kat went ahead and done in this KVK. Like I said, she's done an amazing job. she got over 200,000 coming out of right now with a leader, which is awesome stuff. And she's going to go ahead and round them out of there and take that one. So thank you very much. Mm -mm -mm. So that's another leader she capped, which is really good stuff. Um, just awesome. Look, awesome stuff. And like I said, it wasn't just Cat that done an amazing job. There were so many people in Baby Inc. that had fantastic KVKs. Um, unfortunately, not all of it was recorded. Some of the recordings I got were corrupted. So I couldn't go ahead and use them, unfortunately. But, you know, I got all the footage for this, uh, for this here. And I had to show you it. So this is a fantastic member. You know, joined the guild right at the start when I started Baby Inc. And it's just been absolutely fantastic the whole way through. Anyway, now I've kind of shown Cat off there as our star player of KVK. I've got Mr. Winter Parker here. Look at this. <laughs> He's pulling in. Now, my castle, my solo trap is on the left-hand side. I am Ligma. That is me. But this guy doesn't seem too interested in Ligma today. He's more interested in sloppy solids. So, I just, I literally just logged on. Like, I've just logged on to my account. I'm ready now to go and start doing some KVK. You can see I've got 15 hours left. I've spent my first kind of like 10 hours in POA. 
Um, and as you can see, this guy's moving in on sloppy solids. I thought I might as well record it because I'm here. <laughs> and he gets the cap. Really good stuff, solids. Nice job. You can see the baby ink hive is all broken up and loads of gaps. It's because everyone's out trapping, uh, having some fun. And, you know, the baby ink had an amazing KVK. They really did. There we go. He got his leader. Awesome stuff. Right. Well, we're about 10 minutes in, guys. I think it's about time I showed you what I got up to in KVK. <laughs> so here we go. Now I started randoming around. I'm doing my usual thing. I'm hitting some tiles, you know, being a troll, that kind of thing. And then I spot all these troops marching on tiles. I'm like, where are these troops coming from? Uh, who's doing all this attacking? It's this dude here, Mr. Forget. 120 odd million might. All right, no problem. I'm going to pull over here. Not actually on top of him. I'm going to pull a little bit away from him. And I'm going to start attacking these tiles. You see, that that's the best way to do this. Like, if you're too obvious about it, you know, they're not going to attack you. If you pull next to the target, and when I say target, I mean the person you want to hit you, and start scouting them and, you know, being a pest towards them, they're going to think, oh, this guy just wants me to hit him. So I do the complete opposite. It's like reverse psychology. I go away from him and I just totally ignore him. Like, I just play my game as if he's not there. But all the while, I'm watching him like a hawk. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, like I said, it's like a bit of reverse psychology. So I go ahead and I do a little bit of tile hitting, as you can see. I'm just doing my thing. I'm being a pest. i got some weird error message there. I don't know what that was all about. And I'm just checking out these little attacks I'm doing. Now, I'm losing a few troops, but I'm not losing nothing too crazy. Um, and right now, I'm just going to wait. Because he's got his troops coming back. And I'm hoping that once his troops come back, he's going to go ahead and send a march on me. But I'll have to wait and see. I have to wait and see. I haven't been hit yet. I'm looking for my first first attack and defense. So we'll, we'll see what happens. I'm going to go ahead and skip this fort a little bit. Look at his gear. I mean, he's got gold and purple monster gear and a purple lore weaver at 127 million might. I mean, this guy could have some good gear, right? If that's the gear he's sitting in now. Anyway, I skipped forward about five or ten minutes because he'd done a bit of monster hunting after, you know. And I went ahead and scouted this tile to the right of me just to let him know, hey, I'm not pestering you, but I'm online, I'm in fury, and I'm only about six squares away from you, plus I'm only 27 million might, come and have a crack. So I check out what's on this tile, I'm considering maybe sending a march over there, you know, speed one over, but then, after 15 minutes of waiting, <laughs> clearly he was watching me too, because he's sending a cav range march, and I'm not going to wait. Instead, I'm just going to go, hello there. <laughs> and just port right in front of his castle. That's how we roll. And uh, you've got Ligma now, bro. <laughs> I'm going to give him a thumbs up. And the really funny thing that made me laugh on this trap was once I gave him the thumbs up, um, he started to cry. <laughs> Oh, and I kind of felt sorry for the guy, you know, he was 120 odd million, he's clearly building up quite a nice account, and he must have been contemplating hitting me for quite some time, because I did sit there for a, quite a while waiting for him, but I got him, I picked my target, I baited it, and I got him, <laughs> but I'm going to go ahead and be the nice guy, and release this guy's leader, so he can continue and have a great KVK, and uh, yeah, that was that. <laughs> So after you get a hit, guys, the next thing you need to do is just do a very quick general check over your turf. Check your troops, check your infirms. Make sure you get those all healed up so you're ready to take your next hit. Sometimes it's very easy to forget to not heal your infirmary. So just make sure you keep up on top of that. I go back to the kingdom map. Always keep an eye on that too, guys. You can see he's giving me the heart emoji. He's obviously very, very happy that he got his leader back after that trap in there because, you know, I could have kept it. But it might have looked suspicious, me having 120 odd million might prisoner in my prison. The last thing you need to do, of course, is go back to the wall and just put out your fire. It's 1500 gems, which is a bit of a pain, but you don't want to have smoke coming out your castle because, you know, people see smoke, they know you've done a successful defense, and it kind of immediately sets off alarm bells. And of course, being a trap, you want to kind of reduce the amount of alarm bells you're sending out. Now, I've dropped him about 6 million might, which is pretty good stuff. Uh, what we'll do is we'll go and take a look at the battle report and check it out. So captured enemy leader, there it is, the 250 march, 6 million standard, that's a full T3 march he sent at me. Uh, I was really happy with the result on that one. My 3,500 wall didn't stand up to it. <laughs> and he got wiped. One thing I will say though is his hero is pretty good. And his gear for that might and is actually really good too bro, with the purple champion boots as well. 
that's definitely an account to watch for the future. Anyway, jumping forward, I'm going to do a bit more tile hitting. I found that just sitting there doing nothing was boring. I don't want to sit there and do nothing. I want to do stuff. And obviously at C17, I can't get myself in fury. So I went and done a bit of tile hitting. Suddenly this attack came out of nowhere. 300,000. Okay, wow. And he's speeding up. I'm just going to put a boost on because I don't know what's actually coming. If it's T4 or not. And ba-boom, it hits. And I capped it. Very good. Okay, so awesome. Put the anti-scout back on. And now we can have a look and see what happened just there. This is the guy that hit me, Mr. Killer. He's 162 million might in his building gear. So he hit me in building gear. I don't need my castle walls rebuilt. So I don't know why he's coming to try and do construction on my castle. But it's always nice when someone stops off with their leader in the wrong gear. <laughs> Captured enemy leader. 300,000 troops, 120,000 red deads, mm -mm -mm, 8 million might drop. That was really nice. And even nicer when I noticed that he sent 157,000 T4s, which was really good. As you can see, though, he did pack out his T4s with T3, T2, and T1. So he didn't lose none of his T4s, but he got one heck of a healing bill. I can tell you that much. Okay, so we're going to move on a little bit further into KVK with Mud Trap. Just doing a bit of trapping. I see this guy here, Mr. CCC. I'm like, alright, this guy's put it in. I wonder if he's coming for me. I, I, I can never understand why when someone does a solo hit on their own, a lot of people tend to port like six, seven squares away from you and then walk in. I think they feel that if they port next to you, you're going to you're gonna see them. And that's a problem. Um, I don't know, but if you're going to attack someone, get close to them and hit them quick so they can't change gear or stuff. That's the way you do it. But needless to say, he's gone ahead and hit that little castle, which, you know, poor little snidge there or snudge. And now he's biting off more than he can chew because he's gone ahead and scouted me. And this guy isn't that big. I mean, he's about 30 odd million might, maybe 40. So he's definitely barking up the wrong tree uh, scouting my castle. But unfortunately for him... And I was just sitting there watching this little tile war on the left hand side. He decided to attack me with his leader and 200,000 minimum troops. Okay, so here they come. Now, I was contemplating to round them out of here at this point and just get away from this, this part of the map. But he decided to speed up. So I just thought, well, okay, I guess I can save the random reload if you're going to speed your way to me. Thank you very much. <laughs> so here comes, the, uh, here comes the troops. I've started doing this new thing where I put the emoji up like a couple of seconds before they hit. I know, it's bad manners, but it's funny. <laughs> so I like doing that. So there we go. So he's been capped. Very, very nice indeed. At this point, I was holding on to the leaders. Like, first couple of hits, I let go. And then I started holding on to them just to see if I can kind of instigate some kind of group hit. Which is what I was looking for. And ultimately, probably got a bit overconfident with as we get further in this video. His war heroes definitely need some help. Prima Donna and ouchie ouchie he did send me a funny message though i'm going to translate it it says what happened <laughs> what happened is you lost all your troops and you lost your leader before we get to the, the exciting stuff guys i'm going to just jump over to sloppy solids who's getting some more action in kingdom 546 he's got son goku coming in and ba -ba -ba boom another cap for the sloppy solids and he done more than two he done a bunch of caps throughout kvk this guy that hit him was over 50 million might and he dropped a bunch on that hit so another really cool hit from sloppy solids good job bro and now yes and now you're probably looking at this thinking oh my god what is prince doing you, you know what i'm like i get a bit crazy in kvk right so look this is at the end of the video for a couple of reasons one because it's the best part of the video and two hopefully being at the end of the video less people are gonna see it <laughs> So look, by this time in KVK, I hadn't had a group hit and what I was looking for as far as content goes on my solo trap this KVK was some kind of group effort. You know, I wanted like four or five castles to send a march at me at the same time. That's the plan anyway. And I decided to pick on these SDX guys. Now apparently, with what I hear anyway, SDX are like one of the leading guilds in Kingdom 545. Well, they were during the time of this KVK anyway. They're not that big. They're not. I mean, half, three quarters of their castles, you'd probably solo with your big T4 accounts. But as you can see, they are attacking me. We do get some marches. Over 200,000. 
leaderless. You know, most of it's T3. And let me just tell you what happened. I'm going to show you as well before we get to it. But what basically happened here was they constantly sent little troop marches. At first it was like 200,000. Then they started sending 1 troops, 10 troops, 5 troops. Then they started rallying us. You saw me a moment ago actually just migrate and then come back. It's because I had a rally set on me, okay? There's a nice little hit. 92,000 red deads. I'm guessing he's testing the water. I don't know. Um, yeah, so they kept setting rallies on us, all right? Rally after rally after rally, and we I kept having to migrate and come back or reload away and then reload back because they weren't carpeting anything. And then a couple of us decided to try and take one of these rallies and see what they're sending. And it turned out they were actually sending fake rallies, like they were just like one, two, three, four troops in these rallies, like they were just doing it to be trolls. They weren't planning on actually rallying us, it was just fake rallies. So and I have to give them kudos. I have to give them kudos and credit by doing what they done. Sending a few of these leaderless marches for the odd 100,000 red deads. You know, sending these fake rallies. And guys, I cut so much of the footage out. There was like 45 to 50 minutes of trolling going on. What they actually did was put us into like a, like a full sense of security. That's basically what happened. And you know what? I fell for it guys, hook, line and sinker, big time. Now, here we go, we're getting there guys, we're getting there. <laughs> Check this out, we got Mr. SDSWVVK, now he's set a rally on me, 63 million might, he's got grey gear, and green, and Eskimo boots. Let's put it frank, I'm not worried about this guy one bit, at all, like, why would I be concerned about a T3 player in, in, in grey gear? I'm not. But he did. He, he has set a rally on me, and people have joined it. And I think they've also set a rally on the C25 African Rebel down there at the bottom. So, you know, they're still focusing on their fort, um, but they've also got these couple of rallies on us as well. Now, this time, I'm not planning to port, okay? I'm not going to migrate, and this guy's going in for a march on Slappy Swell. How's that going to work out for him? And oh, <laughs> I don't know if that was real. I think it might have been a fake one as well. There was a lot of fake stuff going on. And I'm not going to migrate this time. I'm not going to pull away. I'm just going to sit there and take it because I want them to know that I know they've not got the cojones, shall we say, to send the real one. Look, in the chat up there, free troops. So the rally coming across the bottom of the screen right now is not a real one. It's a fake one. So, I'm like, okay, well, I mean, his is fake, so I'm guessing mine's going to be fake. Yeah? Surely. There's other rally leaders here that are so much more stronger, with better gear, higher might, more research. Surely they wouldn't get a level 60 with grey war gear to go ahead and rally me. It just don't make no sense. Well, in 20 seconds, we are going to find out. <laughs> so, let's just wait for this, guys. Um, I weren't nervous at this stage, to be honest. I kind of just thought, well... I'm keeping an eye on it, but I just I just had a feeling it was fake. I was like, nah, 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 nah. This guy is definitely not going to be the one to rally me. Let's just check it out, and there we go, four troops. All right, okay, all right. So at this point, I'm thinking, well, this is just a blowout. Like honestly, these guys ain't doing nothing. They are what I normally call people that sit around forts for the whole of KVK. They're fort huggers. I mean, they don't want to solo anything real, like with their leader, they don't want to rally anything. They're just sitting there, doing nothing. But that maybe that's what they wanted me to think, because like I said, they got us into a full sense of security. After sitting there for quite some time, I'm writing at the top, Squirrel, be careful bro, because that guy sped his troops in at the end there, and I'm starting to feel this one might be real. So I go ahead and I write in the chat, is this real? Like, is that actually a real rally coming towards you right now, Squirrel? And I'm watching the chat and I'm waiting. And then I see it. Very. Ah. Oh, that is not good. Okay, so now things have changed. We've gone from laughing at the screen and laughing at these guys saying they're wussies and they're not going to do nothing to actually these guys are now starting to fight. Okay, we might have to be careful here. So we're cancelling a DN. We're getting our troops back. We're obviously hiding troops in DNs, making it look like we're, we're hiding stuff. Trying to get them to hit us with a solo, of course. And now we need to get some reinforcements into Swell because we need to do everything we can now to kind of make this better for him. 
He's only a baby trap, guys. He's only got 275,000 space in his in his um, embassy. But I go ahead and send the maximum I can send. Somebody does start marching on me, but it's just a one troop. We've got some more people coming in now to try and send the reinforcements. Just need to max out that embassy as much as we can because that rally is going to be here very, very soon. There's another march coming on uh, that our CKU. Uh, looks like it's just another smoke. Looks like it's going to be one troops coming in from the left-hand side. I've got more armies invading on me. It's one troops. Okay, just trying to distract us right now. That's all this is. But the march is moving in right now. I'm telling my guy to make sure he puts his army boost on. Just because it's going to give him an extra few percent attack that's going to help him to defend. And I'm worried for him right now, guys. I really am. He's like 21, 22 million might. His castle's not built to take a rally. So we're just going to have to wait and see how this turns out. I've got reinforcements in him, so I shall, I'll have to report as well. Here we go. And is he going to take... No. Ow, he burned. And look, he actually had SP Warriors leader. So no wonder they've done a real rally. Because he did actually cap one of them. Okay. Let me go and get my troops back on their feet. Because, of course, I reinforced his front line. So I've taken some reds, which is understandable. And check it out. To be honest, though, he had his leader in that march. 860,000 troops. I don't think he done pretty bad at all. Couple of hundred thousand red deads. It's just a scratch. That's nothing. It wasn't too bad. We're not talking like one or two million troop loss or anything like that. A couple of hundred thousand you can rebuild in a hell event. So it's not too bad at all. Right. Are we done here? Hopefully my audience has shrunk now to the smallest amount because what happens next I don't want too many people to see. <laughs> Okay, here it comes. Right, Mr. SDSWVVK, okay, has set another rally on me. Yeah, this is the guy with the grey ambrosial cups, the grey war gear, the one which I really couldn't give a monkeys about, the guy that sent the four troops at me a minute ago. Yeah, he set a rally on me, and once again, I'm planning on just sitting there. Now, based on the fact that they just done a real rally on my other guy, I really should have been more cautious at this stage. I should have said, you know what? I'm just going to go to the edge of the Wonder Forest and just watch this come in. Um, just in case I do need to shield. Because sitting right here, I can't shield. And if, if this is bad, then yeah, not good at all. But I decided to go ahead and stay in the Wonder Forest. I didn't want them to cancel it. And I think those two words are going to come up, guys. Chasing content. <laughs> a little bit. A little bit chasing content here. I was like, mm, I want to take a rally on the baby trap. This would be pretty sweet. So anyway, um, the time is counting down. The plan is to pull over to the left-hand side. There I am. Left-hand side next to Hotel Cali. Got my guys moving back in now. Happy Sappy Swirls come back. You know, he can still take solos off these guys. He just can't take another rally, of course. And my guys need to go ahead and fill me up with some reinforcements. Now, I've got 12 seconds. Okay. Let's see what happens next, guys, with this dude. Um, this guy that's like 60 million might in grey war gear. Sometimes it's not about the gear, it's about the troops. I look at the thing and it says 1 million. Okay, 1 million. I've got a bigger troop comp than Swell. And I've got better. I think my stats are slightly higher. I should be okay with 1 million troops. Yes, it's real. It's very real. 1 million troops incoming right okay so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm going to whack on my attack boost i've got my reinforcements in the last one's coming in now i'm gonna we're gonna transfer there we go and oh oh no 18.9 million might i drop to 1.763 million troops the watchtower said 1 million, but because it's a level 17 watchtower, it only estimates between 1 and 2 million. So, yeah, be careful if you're a level 17 trap like me, and you think about taking a rally. It may say 1 million, but there could be anything up to 2 million in there, or 1.999 million. And on this case, I got hit with 1.76 million, which I most definitely would not have took. If I had any idea they were going to fill that rally to that amount. But the previous one was 800,000. So I don't know where those extra troops come from. But boah, did that hurt. 700 odd thousand red dead on my front line. And that was a big ouchie. 
<laughs> Let's take another look at it. You know what the thing to do though guys, you know all I'm gonna say though Don't get upset about it when this happens. It's all about testing knowing what you can and can't take You don't know what you can't take until you take it So what I will say is guys at this point heal your troops get rid of the fire And then just port back to exactly where they rallied me just like that and then when you get there just pop up the emojis and just give them a heart emoji and as if it just to let them know it didn't bother you one bit and that's exactly what it is did it really bother me a little but it is what it is i'll be back on the next kvk with baby ink we'll be stronger and it'll be even more explosive but if you enjoyed this kvk guys please make sure you do leave a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button as you can see i gotta open some food right now and uh, go ahead and do some troop training <laughs> i got a bunch of gladiators to replace Anyway, guys, that is going to be the end of this video, so I hope you did enjoy it, guys. And until the next time, you know how this next bit goes. Stay safe, everybody, and peace out.